Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core. While we're witnessing what happened to the uh, the last two episodes I recorded, <laughs> dumpster fire. Now we've actually got what looks like a uh, a forest fire going here. Um, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> so that notification was a little late. Anyway, I recorded episodes 15, 16, and 17 before I went on my trip. All at one time, or one right after the other. And it was so hot here in the studio, and my computer was revving all the fans full speed. And time I got to sit back and start to edit those three episodes, only the very first one, 15, which is the last one you guys saw, worked. 16 wouldn't edit. It Zero frame didn't record or some kind of error message like that. And 17 the same way. So, the last two episodes have pretty much died, and this game doesn't allow you to go back to an old save, so where I turned it off is where it is. But many episodes ago, we had watched a tree burn, and it just burnt, and then it was over. It didn't spread. So I was curious, you know, at that point I figured, well, maybe the game doesn't really have you know, spreading forest fires in it, but this looks like it does. I put these in at the end of last episode. These, uh, will it tell me? It won't. Commands to extinguish, like so. And was waiting to see if anything would happen. Where are we? Up here? It may be that they will only go so far to try to put out a fire, because... There is nobody attempting to. Oh, oh, no, I thought you were carrying a bucket. No, just carrying blocks and going about your, your day. Okay, so we've got a forest fire, and it's way over here, and it just, nope, it's still going. So we'll check up on that a little later. As far as what you guys miss, I have no idea. I haven't played this in three weeks myself. i got to remind myself what's going on. Um, we had set this up, a, a new trading center so we could extend the gardens down to where the old one was her trading post trading depot and we're kind of getting ready for that where are we by the way we're spring day six everything is planted i want to say it is got a bunch of seeds in the ground there okay and i don't see any spaces that aren't so we had enough seeds except for right here uh 217 seeds of barley left Whoa! Okay, barley's producing a lot of seeds. I guess we could start selling barley seeds, huh? And carrot seeds. Interesting. I wonder how, uh, wonder what those would uh, bring in for an income. Hmm. Keep that one in mind. Um, digging wise, we kind of finished off what was over here. Wanted to put a door in over here. And I see they're starting to bring the materials over so we can block this entrance up in case well I guess the orcs will go through an open door or go through a door anyway so I guess that's not really going to help us that much um, what else had we done I don't know if it was in that run that we got this guy up and going or not you have got water you are running yeah power this guy which had to be rebuilt. That's what it was. So we're waiting for you to be worked upon. We've got four sign, we've got four sign, and four sign. So just waiting for someone to come over here and build it. Okay. The ore crushing station, which will run by power and crush much faster once we get this thing built. But the other one had rusted and disappeared on us to a pile of rust. Um got a new barracks going over here and apparently I was planning on adding another bed or two uh, R R there it is get that going um, yeah I'm trying to remember myself all that was going on so a bunch of things happened in those two episodes and I they're just kind of here <laughs> Kind of wander through here and we got these guys going. I think that was during that time. The four tanks so that we can get as many of the hemp 
running simultaneously as possible. We don't have any hemp left over here. We had a lot left here at one time. No. So I think we're pretty much caught up on hemp then. Yeah. Not seeing it stored anywhere else. There, here, and 10 rolls of linen. 12 rolls of linen. So we have lots of linen. In fact, are we selling it now? We are. So there's 12 rolls over here to sell too. So we got a fortune and potential uh, um, trader sales coming up. Which, middle of spring, we must have got another immigration wave during those three episodes. So let's take a peek at that. We're at 28 now. So we've got 10 military. Do we have 10 military in episode 15? I don't remember. We do now. Uh, they are, let's pop into there. They are training up in battle axes this time. And we are level 18 to 25-ish, depending on which one. Uh, everybody's armored. Everybody is shielded. We've, I believe the training was finished with all of the battle hammers, so they're capable of that as well. And battle hammers, did they store well? Yeah, they're all sitting down in here, so they're available as soon as we need them. Certain monsters will be taken out better. Whoa, training time! Taken out better with axes and other ones with hammers, so it'll be nice to have them dual trained. All right, so that is going on there. We've got otherwise. Let's see here. Chefs. We are running a lot of chefs right now. So we're definitely keeping up on food. Or at least we should be. We'll go and verify that. Um, blacksmiths, three. Carpenters, four. Four. Farmers, as many or even more than chefs. Okay. Weavers, quite a few. That's why we have so much linen. Woodcutters, three. Miners, stonemasons. Of course, these are all you know cross trains, so they're you know they're, they do several tasks at once. Uh, no brewers yet. We were we were going to start working on that. That was one of the next tasks or next challenges. Figure out how the uh, brewing system works. Leather, two of them. Artisans, two of them. And haulers. Pretty much everybody. Okay. The problem with brewing is once you get them drunk, and that's the point of it. Dwarves love beer. Once you get them drunk, you have to keep them drunk. If they, uh, if they get sober, God forbid, they go through withdrawal symptoms and they are worthless. They're angry. They are depressed. And you, you sit there thinking, why did I even start brewing to begin with? So, it's it's questionable whether we really want to do this. I think, yeah, we... What am I seeing over here? Oh, we exposed ourselves big time to get a bunch of coal. So, this is supposed to be a sealed-off storage area. Okay, let's get that one fixed. Um, now, back up there. Build walls. Do we have sandstone? We do. Let's give that a try. There. There. Get those built. And let's send the priority up and get that done. Get ourselves sealed up again. Turn my volume up there a little bit. Everybody's in bed right now. Except for somebody. I hear a noise. Oh, you guys. Are you on night patrol or night shift? Let's think about that. You are on night shift. Okay, the noble brawlers. Because they're no longer the thumpers, and really they're no longer the brawlers. I guess we need to rename you... Um... Axers? I guess. Oh, lost it all. And apparently I took a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> How about that? That works. Okay. So that's this group's goal at the moment. You are carrying two sycamore planks. So we must be waking up. Daytime starting. Day seven of spring. All right. So a goal will be to get the brewery 
up and going and there's actually an awful lot to do to make that work and I'm still hearing crackling noises of a fire somewhere so let's zoom in so we haven't spread too much further we're just kind of taking out what is here the orders to go and extinguish it did not work so there must be a distance limit built into the game not going to worry about forest fires clear on the other side of the map but it's surprising that it took so long for that to trigger I wonder if it had to be within so many tiles of a dwarf and for some reason a dwarf came over to do something like you what are you doing all the way out here you are hauling a birch barrel are you a trader why are you hauling a birch barrel okay I'm a little confused about that one did they use the barrel to try to put the fire out I don't know can I get there by double clicking anything I cannot okay Let's pop back over here. That's right there. You are folk. You are our you are our farmer. Folk rock glove. Hmm. I don't know. I can't explain that one. Nope. I'm still trying to, and I'm 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 coming up blank. So I'm gonna give up on that one. Okay. We'll pretend we didn't see that. Um is that crackling noise it always it must be conveying from over there it makes me worry that there's another fire over here somewhere so we must have had a really good thunderstorm at one point yeah anybody build the rock crusher yet or crusher building good in and turn you up i want to see you happen producing three crushed ore working consuming 10 power this is making 18 power so we'd need two of those to run two of these. One, two. one windmill wouldn't be enough. And that's how fast he plows through that now. It's raining, so that should put out that forest fire out there. Let's watch him do one more. Alright, some considerite. No, yep, no. We're just moving things around, huh? Oh, there we go. Yep, that's a lot faster. And you are officially considered roofed, right? You are. Good. So we are now roofed here and here. This one of these two failed and broke during, I think, those three episodes. It was considered rusted, exposed to the elements, I guess would be a more fair way of putting it. And our stonemason bench broke. So that one and these two have broken due to being outside. So now they are all roofed. We're roofed over here. We are roofed up here. Though that one never got done. That is wild. I wonder if there's an access problem there. It doesn't matter, everything is hidden, but still makes me wonder. Now there's no way to, I can't believe we'd have to roof this. <laughs> I hope not. And I don't know if you can combine this with this and add the power together I wonder it may be possible and maybe that that's how it works but it'd be a lot of work to find out anyway you guys are going crazy over here now that you can do this so quickly we're gonna be overwhelmed soon with uh, there it is just filling the stockpile you're carrying a barrel too what is it with you and barrels putting out a fire interesting you're carrying a whole water barrel I know they had reworked the fire system I wonder if the barrel somehow either puts out more of the fire tiles at once or they bring it over and then bucket back and forth I didn't get to see it interesting can I stop you or will you stop on your own Where'd you go? Looking for somebody with a barrel. Not you. You were right through here, weren't you? I don't see a barrel to sit in anywhere. 
Huh. It could be that it's these two. These aren't sitting in a space like this, which is a kitchen, a water barrel, though these barrels have water in them. So, I'm guessing they were filled. Interesting. And carried over, then to carry back and dropped off in the storage. Well, sales goods, huh? Um, general storage. Is that right? Yeah. I'll rename you. Okay. Anyway. I think mystery solved and we got to see our first forest fire and I was demonstrating during those failed episodes that this one block of water kind of like Minecraft this one will water three in each direction as well as the corner out over here so this guy could do a block like this rather than a long trench of, uh, of ditch or irrigation ditch so we could just put a dot, a dot, and a dot, and that's all we would need with pipes underneath the ground connecting them all together. And we also proved that this guy does work simply by being connected to... Oh, that did go away now. It did go away. They finally got around to, to pulling these pipes out. So you... I still got water, 32 water in you. Because you were connected once? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this right. Um, construction, water, pipes. Let's go ahead and run you up like so and connect you. And we'll just make it happen. So let's turn on a export pallet for pipes. Get those being built. We still have pipes in storage quite a few actually so maybe we already have enough and let's turn the priority up on that pathway which would have been right here get that done do we build the walls we built the walls except for one two all right so i think there's enough there built now that let's see do we have enough blocks a wall is three, and we have three. There's 23 left. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. So let's go ahead and mine out the last of these. Get all that coal that we can, and I guess while we're at it, we'll grab those two. Kick that up. Get all that mining done. And tomorrow, I'll fill in all the rest of the blanks, and that will be finished. You are an export pallet of wood. Why are you disabled? Turn you back on. Let's get that going again. All right, so what is next? We've got some trained soldiers. We could go do something with them. We did go elephant hunting in that one episode that did survive. So we saw that. We took them out over here somewhere, I think because there was a group over here that was too close to another group and I was worried that we would get eight elephants coming at us instead of just four but I don't see where that, is, that double group is now they must roam around the map quite a bit or they left completely interesting I only see four more elephants there they are one two three four five six seven uh, they're all sleeping. Okay, that's why they're not moving. But we've done that and don't need to repeat that right now. But we could go dig deeply somewhere else and see what else is in here. Pathway through here? Or dare we dig a little deeper into here? Hmm. As long as we door it off... I don't know if undead dwarves can open doors or not. That I don't know. It's a long walk to get all the way around to then do something and then go all the way back. Before long, when we get clear back over here trying to go this route, it's going to be half a day between taking off and actually starting a fight. By then, you know, they'll be half exhausted and wanting to go find a loaf of bread or something. So I think we're going to have to... Maybe right here. 
let's put in a wall and a door and make that happen so we can hopefully do something with it this episode so what is happening up in here now we are collecting ore oh right here okay you're bringing these out oh we did mine them okay so we mined two of them and we're still just waiting for them to show up like this one right here building a wall okay so that's happening we moved all of the barley and wheat and flour over to here to clear out space in the uh, in the storage, and that did seem to take some pressure off of that. Um, just looking things over, trying to remind myself what else might be new. We did build a bunch of new bedrooms too. Need to get into this. Okay, so once these two are done, let's open this up for mining and get into there. That may expose a new area too, for all I know. Otherwise, we're kind of waiting for them to do all that. Let's think about this brewery. How exactly does this work? So, brewery, let's just call the whole area that, in case we do need that much space. We've got at least... Well, let's do an input. Well, let's make those out of stone. So you cancel. Let's stone an in and an out over here. Um, water is going to be a thing. So let's get a water barrel in here as well. A malting station. Here, brewers steep barley and then dry it out using a kiln to produce malt. A mash ton used to produce wort from milled malt. So, okay, we're going to start with malt. So, we need to put malt in. Why am I getting a... Seems like there was talk about that on the forum. There's actually something... Can I rotate? Yeah, this kiln at the end, it wasn't drawn properly. Except for two positions. It does exist there at the end. That's why it turns red. It just didn't get drawn in. So that's what's going on there. So you... I'm going to put you right... Let's, let's do it so we, we're certain that we can see it. No, there must be something at that end too. Okay. So we'll go there with you. We'll see what that actually builds. It might show up in the built version, but just, just isn't showing up in the blueprint version. We'll wait and see how that works. So something comes into that. I assume that it is barley something comes out of that which then i assume moves over to the mash ton so we'll put you over here don't know if we need more inputs and exports for that one we'll wait and see a brew kettle produces the final wart so whatever comes out of this one goes into this one and then this is where hopped wart is fermented into beer so the final product is into this guy. Okay. Um, let's put you here. And let's put you... No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Let's do this instead. You're going to go over here. You're going to go away. And if there are import and export pallets involved with each of these, they'll just be down below here. There are barrels involved in this. I do remember something about that. They, These are liquids, so they use barrels to transport from one to the other. So if you don't have a bunch of empty barrels, you're going to be in trouble here. So I'd say it's probably time to turn the carpenter back on and get barrel production going. So barrels and kick your priority. I'll keep you right there. Don't need, need to make that many of them. Just need to make some. Which means we now need to be making barrel hoops. We have five over here. Let's get... Is that this guy? It is. Okay, and we need ingots to do it. And... Which ingots? We're using steel for our armor, so let's use tin. Which is already over here, right? Tin, yeah. So, we want to make... Let's put you right up here. Make some hoops... And we'll kick that priority up to there. Make the hoops, make some barrels, 
And we'll get this going. You guys need a tank. A tank. There's two available. We need three tanks and there's two available. Okay. One's already been brought over to here. I don't know if that counts as one of those two. So tanks, where are we? One, two, there's two left. So I need four tanks total. So let's get a tank into the into the mix over here. Get you going. Priority up there. You're going to make for me some hoops, right? Yep. Let's see if you make some tanks next. Nope, you're just going to go, what, to sleep? Yeah, going to sleep. It's, it's, it's nighttime. We're spring day eight coming into day nine. Um, good time for an orc attack. That's very possible. We've got some elephant thigh, or rump, over here. Rump roast. Waiting to be cooked into something. How's food doing? You, 12, 8, 11, 10. We've got 10 ready to move out. We've got water and ingredients here. Water and some ingredients there. Water. So it is working. We have food being delivered down here. We do. There's 12 available there. We have breads. More breads. The oven has six bread dough. So apparently we're waiting for someone to turn this on. There's 25 dough waiting to go into an oven. We are... Wheat flour seem to be coming toward the end of our wheat. Is that what I'm sensing? Um, the mill is here. There's two wheat right there. Wheat, okay, but there's no flour. Flour's down here. There's 30 flour. So we still have lots of all the parts that are needed to keep making more bread. Okay. Uh, nighttime. Somebody's still up because we haven't dropped into full speed here. Or somebody... Here we go. You're holding us up, Darby. Going to sleep. Novice chef. And Fisher. As soon as she drops off to sleep, the speed should kick up. Nope. Never mind. We got a very early morning Fisher heading out. Um... No, you're just a hauler at this point. You're going to go put your fishing rod away. Mm hmm. If you were to pick a couple of these guys and just kind of follow their whole day, I bet there'd be an interesting story here somewhere. Yeah. Write a novel. Just by following them and writing what you think that they are thinking right now. And what is that? I don't know. What is that? Oh, that's all part of this guy. Leather working station. I'm not sure what that would represent. I guess we have to see somebody working it to see if they hang leather on it or something. Huh. I don't know. You are not a leather worker. Okay. Uh, do we have leather to work? That's right here, and we do not. That's the import pallet. Leather export. That's an import. Export, we have none. So we have almost no leather. Are we calling for leather? We are. So when the next traders come in. Or we can go and jump into this mess and see if we survive. Rather not. Alright, so did we... We still have not... You are at a highest priority. Where are our miners? Removing pests because you're you two are also farmers. And you are collecting an iron chisel so you can do your stone masonry work. So we don't have any real dedicated miners right now. That's what's going on. Okay. There's too much else happening. When it's not planting a harvest season, then we probably have a better chance of getting our miners to, you know, to go and do something. Go and mine. But, yeah, here's a miner right here. Haul, no, you're just hauling a tin pickaxe. Well, that means your mining is done. What are you up to? You're going to haul it? You're going to put it away? Otherwise, they would have... <laughs> 
And he said, wait a minute. I need this. I'm a miner. What am I putting this away for? I got something to do. Right here. <laughs> okay. Well, I think this would be a good place to put a, a bulkhead, we'll call it. Kind of seal off part of our base from other parts just in case we break into a nest of something that we don't want free roaming around so let's do something like that build me a wall and a wall and a door can't do the door till that goes away there now we need both sides of the of the door before it'll let us place the blueprint okay so let's make that happen and we already did that once before so did it happen down here almost the door got in but not the wall and we have enough we're just waiting for a stonemason to go and deal with that once that's done we could put orders to mine we're right here we could do something like that do something real scary and see uh, that only takes us Center of screen takes us to there. There's a lot of map here. Oh boy. I hear the further away you get from your settlement starting point, the more difficult or dangerous the beasties are that you stumble upon. To the extreme of finding something they call a worm. So, hmm. We'll see. You guys, ah, oh, miners got all excited about these two. What's with, uh, what's with these? Dudes. I didn't even prioritize that. Huh. You went directly into hauling. That's kind of annoying. But, uh, Gull here. She managed to get two of them done before she left. Got her door in, though. That was important. Good. So that's all sealed up. And this is on its way to being sealed up. So did we prioritize that? Let's get this guy built. And actually, let's only go to here. Though I do want these at a higher priority. Let's keep the highest priority up here and get this done. Um, more wall in here. Now that one there there and specifically sandstone if we can there and there ah that one's being worked on next good we'll hang around here and maybe we get to both of them Halevi's got that one let's see if we go here next nope just the one okay construction build wall sandstone right there and let's see if we can get it done this episode Next is, we're working over here again. We'll save that one until we've done this. If we can keep them just working and not switching jobs, which I may have to make some dedicated miners. Yeah, you're now, oh, well, okay, you're going to sleep. That doesn't count. But it'd be nice to uh, get them to uh, just, just stay there, just mine away and just plow through this. We have plenty of beds now. Not going to see another immigration wave till year six. So we're year five already. Wow. Ah, uh, be nice to get. That's ore. Oh, okay. It looked different from this. Like these were gems. So probably not as important. We'll make ten out of that. Um, tin is being stored here. No other ingot storage anywhere. And you guys are training all night long. So what are you looking at now? Looking at 30s. Upper 20s and 30s in skill levels. Pretty soon they will be up to 50 and they won't train any further beyond that. They'll only increase their, their skill by... Um, by combat. So probably next episode we'll concentrate a little bit harder on punching through into something down there. How do we do over here? 
we've got a malting station. No, there you are. Three malt from four barley. Okay, so we need these guys built. Ah, didn't say, you know, get up on it right now and get her done. Okay. <clears throat> you. That's just an iron tank. So all you take is an iron tank to build. Is that what I'm trying to... Tanks? No. Fermentation tank just takes one tank. Okay. Let's... That's what I didn't do. Let's get this all happening so we can see it. Otherwise, there's all kinds of projects around here for them to find to do if you don't really up the priority on on uh, what you're what you're trying to accomplish at the moment. So we are 4:40 in the morning. Everybody's starting to wake up. No traders yet. Ele big elephant herd. There's eight of them. Yeah. So two elephant herds that have kind of merged. The fire is definitely out. Yep. Only one pile of ash. Wonder if you can store that somewhere. Seems like there was a spot somewhere that would accept a pile of rust. I wonder if ash is something that would be uh, a material later. Maybe in... When do you, where do you use ash? In the creation of iron? I'm trying to think of... Was that in... Uh, like... Um, fire brick. Or something like that. I'm trying to remember my primitive technology videos... Boy, he's, he, he puts out some great videos. I'm trying to remember all the different ways he used ash. Dinner time at the uh, the barracks. And one soup left. You grabbed bread. Anybody going get, to get this one soup? Nope. Let's kick your priority up. Oh, it's already been filled. One is on its way. Just in time. Good. So that system is working. Whoa. Oh, it's everybody going to bed now? I guess it's morning, so it's bedtime for you guys. Okay. Uh, four breads and four breads. So the system is definitely working. One of the... There's this guy built. One of the key factors of getting a functioning kitchen food system is to have enough cooks. It's very easy to not have enough cooks and have this whole thing just get bogged down. But get enough cooks going and pretty much everything gets done. I think that's where we were hurting at the beginning of this series. There just weren't enough dwarves to do half of the jobs, let alone the important ones. With everybody that is assigned as farmers, as soon as a crop starts to uh, to happen, look at how many people ran out here to get all this done. Alright, so priority-wise, we had set these guys up. We had set this up. This is happening. Uh, two more over here. So... Nope, wrong one. That one. And sandstone still, if it exists. You and you. And kick these two up. Okay. Does that... It does happen. Okay. And you guys are clearing this out. Hey, getting us some more hematite. Good. And very quickly, they're all being hauled off to fill all these voids over here. A lot of call for these. I got them at the highest priority, so they immediately jump in to haul all the boulders that they can find. Good to see. So, five available. Okay, we've, we've overproduced. All right, stop making tanks, please. And no more. Okay. Um, limit is set to 12. We have, I guess, none. So, have we been building barrels? I don't know. 
They are here. Nothing is sitting here. Doesn't mean that they aren't in various places around the uh, around the map. Look at all the buckets that have just been dropped in here. These buckets are not supposed to be here, but apparently we have a lot of extras right now. And I don't want to set this storage to accept buckets. I'm afraid that they're all going to land down there and nothing will be available near the uh, the water barrel. So we'll just we'll leave the clutter. Though you're supposed to be a water barrel and no one ever thinks to drop in one or a bucket, but it never seems to get filled. So you're thinking about something. You're getting a drink of water. Okay. You guys are up. We have all the materials uh, plates six required four available I need to make two more plates that is done here here plates um, we have ten plates two we have two rusted iron plates I wonder if you build something with a rusted iron plate, if once it's built, it will reset to a non-rusted state. I don't know. Let's build tin plates. Oh, there's a bunch of plates sitting right here. There is. Let's just cancel this. No more storing them here. And that should say that we suddenly have... No, it didn't change yet. Waiting to see. No, it's not going to update itself. Ten plates. All plates. So we've got six iron plates. None are available. Why is that? They're all set for hauling now. Ah, they need to go from here. Dude, <laughs> you know what you're doing. You're just skipping that whole step and taking it over there. Alrighty. Oh, you're over here. Okay. So these are still a problem. Anyway, let's get some tin plates going. So you specifically tin. Since we're building it out of here, though we don't have any tin available... So I need to say, guys, make me some tin. No, actually, I'm wrong. We're not making it out of ingots. We're making it directly. Okay. Turn you down. Turn you up. Okay. So that means we need some cassiterite, which is right there. And yeah, tin plates. We're producing tin plates. Does that mean the furnace is loaded? I'm not sure. I'll wait till everybody wakes up and see what happens. What happened up here? You're in progress. You're in progress. All the priorities say that you're supposed to be being done here real soon. Alright, so why can't I get these guys built? Six available, two are assigned. Under construction. We need more stonemasons. I think that's what it's coming down to. Okay. Stonemasons... We have quite a few assigned. Two of them as their first priority. Yeah, they also work on the stone walls. And we have had several of those around the map this episode being worked on. And they do the doors. We had a few doors built. I know that they're working. They're just... They're uh, being split up amongst other priorities. Um, let's jump into here a little bit. Like right here, we had these built. Let's mine a little deeper into here. And do that. Get some more of this ore coming in. More training going on. Yeah, I guess we'll let them choose what they want to work on. Let's kick the priority up into here too. Let's see if we can discover something. We're 45 minutes or so into this episode. We'll go a little bit longer, see if anything actually gets accomplished or if we're just 
setting ourselves up for the, the big episode next time of the brewery. Or I guess I could kick the speed up a little bit. Man, I could do that. I'm usually quite content with playing a game at a slower speed and just watching everything happen. never find that I need that rush, that accomplishment of getting something done immediately. So, that's why I take my time and don't get stressed out over things. Not necessary. I do want to complete this. I'm trying to think of what path to take. I think it's there. And these are probably sandstone. We're probably getting a little low on sandstone as far as sources for blocks. You are not sandstone over here. You are not sandstone over here. Hmm. Okay. So as far as making things match, we may be coming to an end in that regard. Got a lot of sandstone out of here, but that's all done too. Now we did get all of these pillars in. So, what are you? You are magnesite gems. We could take everything here out. This gives me three... Three... I don't know if I can take all this out. If I were to drop a pillar into here, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. Right there. And up your priority. Otherwise, we should be able to mine out everything over here. Um, one, two, three, at least everything here. Everything down there. Everything there. One, two, three. I think we can get into there at least. Maybe there as well. Okay, we'll do that. And... We'll do as much of that as soon as we can, too. We get some more sandstone out of it. get some more sandstone blocks. Um, pipes. We're there. We are constructed again. So, we're connected again. Not that it made a difference. It's still 32. So, I don't know if it would have run out if they just weren't tapping this for water. Or if it once it was connected, the game just doesn't check anymore. I don't know. Uh, right there. So, we're still fishing. We're still bringing in fish fillets. They're not using the water, the fish barrel, are they? Fish barrel. They're not. Let's demolish you and put you back in. See if there's a difference. Let's see if someone runs over and does that real quick. These barrels should be full of water and full of fish. Ten? A dozen? Something like that. Nope. Bedtime again. <laughs> Ooh! Something happened! We did a thing! Okay, you need malt and wort and water. Okay. So we gotta get these built. And they're not doing it. Why is that? Hmm... Too bad you can't right-click on someone and say, go do that one. I wish we could. So, I said to use a certain... No, I said any. They chose that one. Okay. Let's try you any and do... Another one there. And another one there. Kick your priority up. Do we have a priority for the whole room? We do not. Your priority up. Cancel you. And see what happens. We'll have a little walkway down below if we have to. You as well. Let's kill that. And just put another one in. Uh, right there. And your priority is up as well. Alright, let's see. We'll give this one more try. Run another day. I think we're getting... We're going to be close to our hour mark at that point. Everyone's grabbing something to eat. Soup was right in front of the person eating. Nope, nope, it staggered. Okay, yep, that's still a little wonky over there. Okay, that is the sound of these guys finishing. 
but there's still three meals in there and eight meals in there. We'll stay here for a little bit and see if we see the chef start to uh, to re uh, restock soups. Kind of wander around and never really get to see some of these things actually happen. Of course, now that I'm waiting, <laughs> where do you go? You get moved into something. Uh, Priority-wise, where are we at? That, that one just reset on its own. Okay. So, chefs are starting to work. Yep, brought that over. I saw ingredients being dropped off into some of these other ones. Grabbed the bucket, filled it up. Filled up the, the cauldron. And another bucket, another cauldron. You're sawing on... Oh, you're building a lamp with us. So the carpenters build the metal lamps. I didn't expect that. <laughs> and then you're going to go over and haul some, uh, some flour. Okay. Um, where else are we? So we got that to do. We got these to do. We started plunking down into here. Okay. For some reason they like this one more. Oh, we cleared that out so we have some more and we're hauling them away. Some more boulders. Good. We could do some more in here and get some more sandstone that way. Just kind of mine it for the sandstone. Otherwise, priority. We did all the highest priority and we quit. Okay. So let's highest priority there. And let's send off a, uh, a side tunnel. So let's see what is... Let's keep them double wide. We could use the... Uh, Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, that worked out really well. Let's, uh, we could use the boulders. So, no problem there. Let's go down to about like so. And we'll do that. This, not so much a higher priority. Though it might be nice to connect the two. Let's just go there. And then we'll do one run. Actually, let's do this way. All of you guys... Oh, that's slow. Are there? And then we will higher priority. No, don't don't go away. That was just temporary. One run out of each of these to get the connections done. Later we will widen them in case we really need to use them. Okay. That way we're not spending so much time making a double pathway all at the beginning. All right. So that should get us access to new areas quicker just midnight so we just hit an auto save and we are into summer three days into summer so far we have been harvesting carrots yeah we have a lot of food wow we have a lot of food 2100 food okay we should get large waves of immigration soon another reason to have these guys done through the winter get more beds made yeah I don't know that we will ever need more than 10 soldiers let me know what you think about that any of you who have played the game more than I have but uh, um, okay you wouldn't accept a higher priority so there's something in here no huh Interesting. Okay. I won't question it. Uh, let me know if there are reasons to have more than ten soldiers. That's why I was trying to get out and stopped. You are a an unknown. Okay. So we were making barrels. We still only have one. Oh, we have four of them that are now full of water. Don't know if that's good or bad. I think I need empty barrels. For this system which is starting to come up and running so you're gonna be there you're gonna be there this needs to get done we chose granite can somebody just come over and drop off some granite please so you're going to make malt you need malt there we are well, I was 
kind of in the middle of something. But let's go to location. Pause. No beasties. Okay. So next time I'll have to build walls and try to recreate the original shape here. But we could go and get these guys mined out just because we found them. Okay. Otherwise, you can continue that. What I was saying was, you need... So, we get wart if we have milled malt and water. Okay. So... Kind of need to reverse these, huh? Well... Barley comes in. Comes out as malt. Goes into here. Comes out... I don't know if it goes to a pallet. We could try it. Let's put another... That's the end there. Another in, another out. And any, uh, made of anything, we're being invaded. Okay, go to location. Ooh, new location this time. Up here. We do have a bridge. I know we talked about putting the bridge in. We do have a bridge. They're going to come through... Who are you? Do we have traitors? Are these our soldiers? Um, they look like our soldiers. How do I know? No, they are their soldiers. So we've got traitors coming in. We've got... Orcs coming in <laughs> with armor this time. I think the other ones look like this because we didn't get any armor out of it. Okay. So I guess I was right a little while ago when I predicted what we were really doing was setting ourselves up for really exciting um, next episode. <laughs> oh, I'll have to call this one the cliffhanger. So thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to call this one done. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.